Uh, we have some tax issues coming up this coming uh, uh, election cycle, and one is a county sales tax for 0.25% on your sales tax. Now, this is the story, and I, I, I couldn't believe this to some degree, but this happened at the county commissioner's meeting uh, on Tuesday, October the 17th. Uh, local businessman Mike Mastro uh, is in charge of a group that supports, uh, the, the, along with a lot of people, who support the sales tax going up. But he got up in the open meeting on October the 17th, and this is what he said. He said, anyone who doesn't support the county sales tax supports sex offenders and drug abusers. What do you think, Marianne? Well, that's a pretty strong statement. <laughs> I, I mean, really, that, that is. And I, and I, know, I know Mike Master. In fact, he's a former student of mine, I hate to admit, but he was in my seventh grade <laughs> English class, and I really liked him. But I, I don't understand that uh, forceful of a of a statement. I understand, uh, you know, and whether you're for is, or against. This is the one that, that is for um, shoring up the police force, is that? Well, I think they both are for yes, that. Yes, because maybe that's what he means, you know, that if you don't, if, if you don't have strong um, police protection, you're going to have problems. I think but that's. But I think it was, you know, said maybe a little bit it, differently from what he really meant. I think that's what he meant. I don't think that's what he said, yes. and I think that was the problem. Yes, I, I, I think so, too. And, and just for those who were keeping tabs on that on Thursday, which was the next meeting of the county commissioners, uh, Al Gruber, who is running for county commissioner, mm -hmm. stood up and asked for an apology because he does not support the county sales tax and said, you know, I should have the right not to support this, of course. but don't call me somebody who supports sex offenders or drug abusers just because I don't support yes. this. Yeah. Mary Ellen, have a right to say that. I think, well, I think, and, and he also, in the open meeting, asked for an apology from Mike, and Mike said no. He would not give him an apology. So there you have it. Uh, Mary Ellen, you've been in many campaigns. Uh, is that the right rhetoric? Do you go as far as you can go to try to get people to vote for what you want? Well, I think sometimes people get really overly excited about a race, and um, you have to sort of keep things under control. Do you think that might have been overstepping? Mm -hmm. A little bit, maybe. Well, I mean, and I think, and I do want to mention this, by the way, and this is of my own accord because I've done uh, uh, some, some work on this. Well, first of all, I want to poll this because we do have an audience of about 10 or 12 people here. If you want to say, you can. If you don't want to say, that's fine. How many support the county sales tax? Almost everybody. Um, how many support the city tax raise? Uh, not as many, but uh, more. We abstain. You abstain from that one. That's fine. But I, I do want to make mention of this, and I want to do it on the air because that's where this will be. Uh, I did learn this uh, recently. The city tax, 20 percent or 40 percent, excuse me, 40 percent is is absolutely earmarked for the police depart department. 40% is absolutely earmarked for the fire department. 10% mm -hmm. is earmarked for the road maintenance, and 10% is earmarked for 911, so an emergency dispatch. So if this tax passes in the city, that's where it's going. The resolution has already been passed. They can't spend it someplace else. And I, I, I hadn't heard that conveyed yet in that way, but I got that from Jay McDonald, who's, who's a big part of that. Uh, Mary Ellen, your, your uh, face has been on the literature for that particular one. Yes, I'm, uh, I'm involved. I'm, uh, I'm one of the, the coordinators for it, um, and I, I hope it passes because it's really needed. I think we need protection in our city. And I know of one individual who told me that, uh, and he's a young um, policeman, um, also a former student, I might say. And he said, you know, if it doesn't pass, he'll lose his job. And I, I, I think that's pathetic. I really do. I, I think everyone should support strong protection mm -hmm. of our city. Yeah. I really do. I think, you know, we depend on these people, the firemen and the, uh, the EMS, and, and those people are invaluable. I, and I think mm -hmm. I totally appreciate them. Yeah, I, I think uh, both of these things, you know, I'm not going to give my opinion here because you're not supposed to. I think everybody knows that. But, you know, hey, go to the polls and vote for what you believe. But understand that in the city, at least, this is a done deal, that this is where these funds are going to go. The county, I haven't heard anything back on that ex if they've set a re resolution aside to say that that's going to go for the, the sheriff's office. But I, 
Hopefully it will if it does. Uh